Why can, can we agree that that it should be illegal for someone to have gender reassignment care or surgery if they're 14 years old? For the third time, no. We should not have that. Or wait. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on this new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook destroys massist wearing dog collar. Damn, wearing a dog collar? That's, that's terrible. I call Charlie Kick if you call love kicking us. Let's get right to this video. I'm a libertarian socialist, which oh, is okay. close enough. Right. So it's, in, it's like, it's an inherent contradiction, a libertarian socialist. If you want to believe that, yeah. Ex explain to me how one could be a socialist and also a libertarian. So as a libertarian, I believe in, per in people's like personal freedoms, and I think that uh, socialism is like the best way to do that. Um, that's not really what I came here to talk about, though. No, but it's like being a vegan meat eater. It doesn't make any sense, right? <laughs> it's like saying, well, I want freedom here, but I also want the government to control every part of my life. So explain to me how a vegan meat eater would work. So, okay. <laughs> a vegan meat eater does not work, obviously. But that's like a, but a libertarian socialist saying that I value liberty, but I also I don't value liberty. So it's an inherent contradiction. So, so you got to pick one. That's not what socialism means. Well, socialism, by definition, means the eradication of personal agency and freedom, the elimination of the property, the elimination of religious liberty and religious practice, and also government ownership or the, the ownership of the means of production. By the way, don't believe me, it's literally in the manif Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital. Those are the aims of Marxism and socialism. Yeah, the Communist Manifesto actually starts with, I, Karl Marx, believe that uh, communism is whenever um, you can't pray to God or something. That's not what it's about, obviously. Well, no, but he did say that religion was the opiate of the masses. And he said that the goal of communism is to eradicate people's attachment to religious True. assembly. True. I, I, I came here to talk about like voter registration cool. and, no, we, and about like... No, we can do that. I just, you introduced yourself with an inherent contradiction. So it's like gays for Palestine, vegan, vegan meat eaters. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, I'm also for Palestine, but that's, that's, that's fine. That's okay. there. Great. I, don't, so, I don't want to get into that. No, no I, I just, it, fair, fair enough. I, I'm, I'm confused, but what's your, what's your question? Anyways, um, so the university administration here at UNT recently disallowed uh, professors from being able to bring in voter registration volunteers uh, during class time to register people to vote. This is the first time this has ever happened on campus, and I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Like, why do you think that is? Do you think that's okay? I, I know nothing about it. I think we have voter registration people here. Uh, I, I, like, I meant like professors bring in voter no, registration I, I, volunteers. No, I have no idea about that. The, the reason that they probably forbid it, and I'm... I'm speculating yeah. is because the professors are actively propagandizing their population during their, mm. that time, not and then true. they're and they're they're not actively doing it. Again, I'm just no. I'm, I'm speculating, and they're they're probably instructing their population of how to vote at that time. Again, I'm for Doesn't pro happen. I'm for pro voter registration. That's why we have voter registration here. So I don't have that strong opinions about mm. that. Gotcha. So um, the next thing, because um, you know I, I know that like we care an awful lot about children here. Uh, so uh, yes. Oh, is, that, is that say don't mess with trans kids? Indeed it does. It's a great shirt. Um, Wait, so you think it's okay for a 14-year-old to be able to have their penis chopped off? Hold on. It happens all the time. I was about to time. ask you another question. Also, no, I don't. Also, that's not how gender reassignment surgery goes. Well, and yes, it, yes, it does, actually. You don't cut it off. It's significantly more complicated. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. They flip it inside out. It's a lot more complicated. Oh, they flip it inside <laughs> out. They don't actually chop it off. It's a medical marvel, I, 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 stand, I stand corrected. You're okay with 14-year-olds having that happen? I already said no. Okay, so, sh so we can agree that we should have a federal law saying that we should not have gender reassignment surgery for trans kids. No. Can I get to my question, please? No, I have a question. Why can, can we agree that that it should be illegal for someone to have gender reassignment care or surgery if they're 14 years old? For the third time, no. We should not have that. Or wait. Hold on. At 14 years old? I'm yes. not a doctor, man. But but no, it's it's a, it's a very simple moral question. Shouldn't we agree as society that 14 year olds should not be able to go under the knife for a phase that they might be in? Probably not. Ask a doctor. Okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm glad we almost have agreement. He's wearing a shirt that he doesn't have support in the first place because he's actually confused. He really doesn't know what this trans trans movements are about. It's is a, it, you do not support such art, but you are promoting such art. So what are you saying? Yeah. Should I put it this way? You're a hypocrite. It's as simple as that. You say you do not support the surgery that has been done in the kids and that the um, genitals has been flipped the other way for the male. And you do not support such surgery. But you're wearing such shit. Do not mess around with trans kids. 
Like, it's crazy how some people think, like, it came about saying the libertarian socialist, like, which is crazy. If I even think about it, like, why are you crazy? Are you mad to say that? Like, he's someone who is confused. It's as simple as that. I don't know why Charlie actually answered him in the first place. Because he's a student who is confused, who doesn't know the right from the left. He wants to pick both sides. You, you, can, you cannot. It's not possible. From his starting point to the ending point, you see him stumbling. It's, it's confusion, there's that. He's actually confused. He just do not know where he's at. And now wearing a dog collar. Like, shit, God. That is very demeaning. Very, very, if you, very, very demeaning. The guy is, is a student who do not know what he's talking about. Someone who needs more counseling, moral counseling, psychological counseling. You need a therapist, if you are. You need a therapist. Like, the guy is actually confused. That's exactly what I just saw right here. It's total confusion. That's who the student actually is. And I love actually put him in this place and dismiss him. Comment down below. Think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.